Hello people, it's King Dub the Seventh back with more LCS coverage and this week I feel like week two is just as good if not better than week one. We got a chance to know a lot more about the teams except for Echo Fox because they're having visa issues with a lot of their players like Froggen. But still, we got a chance to see great matchups like TSM versus Immortals. We got a chance to see Team Impulse actually win two games. Team Impulse beat two different teams. It was a great week for LCS. Immortals showed that they are indeed the real deal. But we're gonna get into the the uh, I guess you could call it the rewards or the trophies for each game of the week, player of the week, and play of the week. So let's get right into it. So a bunch of weird things happened this week when it came to the NALCS. So first, we find out that Echo Fox were going to forfeit their first match of the week against NRG, I believe, because of visa issues. Well, we didn't know that at first, but we just knew that they forfeited. That was very disappointing because that roster, to me, is very promising, very good, and I really wanted to see how good they could actually be and good how they, how good they could grow together and gel. I think they could really be like a top six team in the LCS be a uh, playoff team in the LCS but they didn't really show that because they didn't play at all. Also this week we found out that Liquid Dominate, I Will Dominate or Christian Rivera the jungler for Team Liquid has retired. Now for me personally this sucked because Liquid, I mean not Liquid, but Dominate was one of my favorite players in the LCS. He's my favorite jungler by far. Even though I'm a, I was a TSM fan, Dominate was still one of my favorite players because he always seemed to be clutch. He always seemed to be consistent. He, all, he was always one of the best junglers, one of the most underrated junglers in the LCS, in the world in my opinion. But now he's gone and now he's going to help Dardoch, who's another mechanically good jungler. He's going to help Dardoch grow into an even better player. But one of the not so weird things, one of the great things that happened in week two of LCS was TSM versus Immortals. This was a great match that TSM seemed to have control. They seemed to have control even after they gave up first blood on Haunter again. They seemed to have control over the game. Haunter was solo killing Huni. The rest of the team was pushing. Well, they had pressure all over the map. But then they did a bronze baron and they let the game go. It was a compelling game for all of the time that it lasts. But Immortals came out to one, showing everybody how strong they could possibly be. And TSM showed that they did improve. After losing to CLG the first day or the first week, and then just barely Team Liquid just handed them a game on a platter. This time they actually looked like a strong team. They were playing very well against possibly the strongest team in the NALCS right now. And we all saw what happened when the Immortals played against Energy, who could possibly be the second strongest team in the LCS right now. So that's my game of the week, TSM versus Immortals, because it showed how strong Immortals is, because they're able to come back against a pretty good team in TSM, and it shows how good TSM actually is, because they, they played a very good, very close game against Immortals. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was awesome. You guys see highlights in the background. It was just plenty of action all over the place. So we're going to skip play of the week because I just didn't really see any plays that I thought were fantastic and had to be mentioned in the, uh, in the video. If you guys thought there was a play of the week, I would love for you to put them in the comment section. If you ever see any plays that you like and if you want to help me out, then you guys should just tweet at me. Twitter is kingdub 7 just like my YouTube channel. But player of the week. I feel like player of the week has to be Adrian because I'm pretty sure I can't check for statistics for some reason so I'll just keep the stats general. The player of the week is going to be Immortals Adrian because for the past two weeks Adrian only died one time and he's leading the LCS and assists with I'm pretty sure the assist number is 50. He's like the master of Janna and that's all he's played as Janna. I don't know why a team hasn't banned Janna from them. I guess there are so many bans, like that you, so many people who you'd rather ban. But I don't think I've seen Janna losing the NALCS this week. So I'd ban out Janna if I ever play Immortals just to see how strong they could be without that disengaged monster. So you have that. He's just an all around good player. He's never in a horrible position. His 80 carries one of the top killers in the NALCS. 
last, so that's gonna be my player of the week. This is sort of a lackluster video because although it was a great week, I just didn't feel like there was much to talk about for the topics that I usually lay out in this video. Now what I want to do, what I really do plan to do is I would love to have somebody to talk NALCS with like a podcast I guess. I think that would be an awesome idea to talk about different things that are going on throughout the league. But that's not necessarily what these videos are for. These videos are strictly for like statistical speaking of the NALCS and I'm not necess necessarily going for the stories that are happening around the NALCS. That would be a totally different thing that I don't plan on doing right now. But in the later video, we will be talking about we will be talking about the next week in the later video for, of this week. Peace. I hope you guys have a great day. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll